get ready with me while I show you guys my Sephora haul. The first thing I got, which is a staple, is a retinol cream. I literally turned 14 this week, and I should have had this by, like, 11. And tell me why the Sephora employee was so rude to me when I asked for this cream. She was like, is this for your mom? I was like, is this any of your business? I can tell that she isn't using one because, oh my god, the wrinkles. And then she had the nerve to tell me they had no drunk elephant. So I'm trying to get as much out of this drunk elephant as I can. I'm putting my glow drops in and I'm making a smoothie to perfect my face. Like, I don't know why she is gatekeeping the drunk elephant, but I could tell you right now, her face was bronzy. So she is using them. She's taking them for herself. Because that was the only thing that looked nice on her face. But you know what? I'm going to report her on the Sephora page. Hey, Guys, I'm doing a what I got for Christmas haul. Now, I would do a disclaimer like everybody else, but my family's apparently poor this year. So, I don't think it's necessary because who's going to get jealous from that? First, I got a couple bags from Lulu. Only a few. I got this scuba jacket and... I don't know. It has so much fuzz. Like, my mom probably got this from, like, Goodwill or something. She says it's just fuzzy because there was another shirt in the bag, but I don't believe her. Next, I got a couple things of the Laneige, but I'm really bummed out because I really wanted the Summer Fridays. Like, why couldn't you just spring for a few more dollars? They're like 40 Next is Ugg Ultra Minis. I'm really disappointed about this one because who wears this color? I'm embarrassed to wear these around, and apparently my mom thinks this is what's in. Valentino Perfume. I don't know. It smells like a grandma. And apparently I have some stuff back ordered from Gucci, but why is it? Are you with me while I talk about things I hate? I just got done swimming at Jessica's pool because Lily and Kayla are on vacation for after Christmas with their families and I wasn't invited. But that's fine because me and Jessica have been bonding and honestly, Lily and Kayla, if you're watching this, she's honestly cooler than you guys and I'm going to go on a trip with her family to Bora Bora for New Year's. Something I hate since I've been hanging out with Jessica is... I let her do my makeup the other day because, honestly, hers didn't look that bad for once. But she decided to curl my eyelashes with her musty, dusty eyelash curler, and now my eyelashes are, like, non-existent. I don't even want to see Chad because of it, and I'm not, like, an insecure girl, so this is really all new to me. I never really had a reason to be insecure before. But I got this really good eyelash serum, so my eyelashes are going to grow back before Lily and Kayla can even get off their plane. The packaging is so pretty, and I'm just going to put this on, and I'll give you guys a Get ready with me while I talk about my New Year's resolutions this year. I really want to help people out this year because not everyone can be as perfect as me. I wanted to start with my friend Jessica. I think I claim her as a friend now, and I think that's really me evolving in the new year, 2024. But unlike everybody else, I started before the new year. It's still 2023. So I decided I want to give out some gifts, and this one's for Jessica. It's teeth whitening pens because her teeth are really yellow, and she doesn't need to be looking like that in 2024. She wants to get her first New Year's kiss this year, and I'm like, girl, your teeth are shining, not in a good way, but like brighter than the ball that drops from the sky when it streaks midnight. If she wants them to shine in a good way, we're going to use these. I already do. As you can see, my teeth are literally perfect. But for good measure, I'm going to use one because I need a kiss from Chatty Chat on New Year's. Oh my gosh, Lauren, look who it is. It's Jessica. Hey, girly. Wow, you actually chose to wear that dress. I literally thought she was kidding. No, you look great. You look great. <laughs> At least we don't have to worry about anybody looking better than us. Am I right, Lauren? No offense, no offense. But anyways, we still noticed that you didn't end up coming with a date. But no worries because we saw Luke has been looking at you. And we think you should go up and dance with him. But wait, before you go, you're definitely going to need this. Look at her go. Oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. He doesn't like her at all. Oh my gosh. What, Jessica? You're back so soon. Oh my gosh, things didn't work out. I'm so sorry. Well, me and Lauren have to go to the ladies' room, so we'll be back. No, you can't come with. No. She is so annoying. We should definitely leave without her. Who, who is that? That's the new girl? Are you kidding me? Well, you don't think she's prettier than me, do you? Okay, good. Um, We need some new drama in our group, so like, I know what to do. Oh my gosh, hey you! Yeah, new girl, come sit over here. What is your name? Oh, that that's such a unique name. Well, I'm Juliet, that's Lindsay, and that's Kelsey, and you're officially a part of our friendship. 
friend group now, yeah. Have you ever thought about trying out for cheerleading? <gasps> you haven't? Oh my gosh, but you're like so pretty. Well, tryouts are today and you're definitely coming with us. Yeah, I'm like coach's favorite. And ladies, after tryouts, we're having a sleepover at my house, yeah. And don't look at Chad, he's my boyfriend. He's so cute, I know. Oh, you have to go now? We'll see you later, new bestie. She's so annoying. I mean, love you. I don't know if you guys know or saw me on your For You page or something, but I'm kind of a big deal, yeah. I'm TikTok famous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have 600 followers. What, Lindsay? You have a thousand? I don't believe you. Let me see. You do. They must be all bots. Yeah, they're fake or you bought them. But I have mine because I have pure talent. Yeah. Anyways, you're just jealous. Did you guys see my new TikTok dance? It's literally going to go viral. Like, Charlie D'Amelio will be doing it. Yeah, I'm waiting for my blue check mark. It should be coming soon. And Charlie D'Amelio liked my comments. He liked my creator. That's that's a fan page. No, it's not. It's her hey, saying Chad. What? Jessica sitting here? <laughs> Ew. She's not anymore. Anyways, give me your phone. Give me your phone. Because I just posted a new Instagram picture and I'm gonna like it and comment for you. Because it's cute. Okay, here you go. <gasps> Are these Jessica's? Oh my gosh. Do I look like a nerd like her? No, I probably look cuter, don't I? Here, take a Snapchat of me. Take a Snapchat. Okay, give me your phone now. No, I'm gonna post it on your Snapchat because I look cute, yeah? Here you go. What? Jessica, why are you so mad? Yeah, these are your glasses. Oh, and your work? It's on the floor, yeah. No, I'm not getting up because me and Chad are having a really good conversation. So, like, if you could just, like, go over there or something. Like, Chad's not even your friend, so, like, it, it doesn't really matter. Am I right? Oh, my gosh. Hey, girlies, are you excited for our first eighth grade dance? I am so excited. So, Jessica, do you have your dress yet? Because me and Lauren have ours. <gasps> Show us. <laughs> one second, one second. Yeah, Lauren, can you just, like, check the text that I just sent you right now? Yeah, I just sent you. What, Jessica? No, that literally had nothing to do with you. No, right, Lauren? That had nothing to do with her at all. We think your dress is gorgeous, and you will just look so pretty on the dance floor. It really brings out your eyes. Don't you think, Lauren? Anyways, do you have a date? Because Lauren's definitely going with Jack, and I'm going with Chad. You don't have a date. This is our eighth grade dance. You have to have a date. You're going to look so lame without a date. Well, you better find one, and hopefully they can match with that dress. Oh, hey, girls. What, Jessica? You want to go over to Lindsay's house and spend the night. Um, why don't we just have a sleep over here, girls? It'll be so much fun. We could do our nails, put in a movie. I can make pop. What, Jessica? It's not the same? What do you mean it's not the same? Lindsay's literally right here. You guys can just have the sleepover. I don't, I don't understand. What's the, what's the difference? You like her house better. What's wrong with this house? What is possibly wrong with it, Jessica? You know what? Come here. We're going to talk. Lindsay, stay here. Okay. Why can't you just stay here? You know I don't like when you go to other people's houses. I don't know her mother that well. You just met her yesterday. Can't you just spend the night here? What is the big difference? We'll have a really good fun time. Now, you know what, Jessica? You either spend the night here with your friend or no sleepover at all. Yep, that's all I'm giving you. No, I'm I telling you right now, you're eating what I made for dinner and then you're cleaning up this whole table and the dishes and you're not playing Minecraft tonight, I'm telling you. And if I hear you talking to your friends, your phone's taking away. And I want you to do your homework and... Hi, half Barbara. How are you? Yeah. Uh-huh, that's great. Yeah, I'm doing just fine. Yeah. Uh-huh. Hey, Mom, have you seen my purse? It's on your bed. Uh, well, I'm looking right now, and I do not see it at all. Are you even looking? I am looking. So when I get Fine. up there, I'm not going to see it? You come up here, then. But it's not going to be here. It's not. I swear, these kids can't just open their eyes. I swear, it's going to be right there. I'm telling you, just open your dang eyes. Um, this has to be a joke or something. What are you talking about? You gotta be kidding me. No, this, I literally swear this was not here like two seconds ago. 
Like, it was not. It, it literally was not. I swear, honey, you need to get out of this house. You're always cooped up in this house. Go hang out with friends. Do something. My gosh. Are you obsessed with me or something? Like, you're always in this house. I'm beginning to worry about you, okay? Like, normal teenagers go out and hang out with their friends. Like, not stay in every second of every moment and watch Netflix and all those things. Go out. I'm begging you. Hey, mom. Can I go hang out with my friend Jessica? You want to go out. You're seriously asking me this question? You go out every single day of the week and you're going to ask me again. You're like barely in this house. I barely ever see you. Do you ever just want to have some family time or something? You're just always leaving. No, you're not going anywhere. You're not because you're never here. I swear we give you so much freedom and you just abuse it. You mean you text your friends every second. You go over to their house every second. You're not going. You're not going. No, you're not. Get out of my face. Hi, sorry, sorry. Can I, can I grab Elizabeth just for one second? We can literally just stand right here, okay. Hi, Elizabeth. So I heard you were having a little problem today. Yeah, a little incident. Could you just tell me what that was so I can... Okay, so you pooped your pants. All right, class, that, that's what I thought. But I just wanted to make sure, okay? So I'm gonna call mom, okay, to bring you some undergarments and some pants and things like that, okay, class? And also, that's what the smell was earlier. So don't be alarmed. We have it under control, okay? So, Elizabeth, uh, we're gonna get those fast because starting to stink a little bit, but no, nothing to worry about, okay? Nothing to worry about. Incidents happen, all right? Nothing to be ashamed about, all right, kiddo? So stick it out for a couple more minutes. No, nobody will know. Nobody will know, all right? Go back to class, all right? I'll call you down. What? You like my nails? Oh my gosh, thank you. Well, you know Chad? Yeah, my boyfriend, that Chad. Mm -hmm. He paid for me to get them done. Isn't that so romantic? Huh? I talk about my boyfriend too much? What? Oh, I know what it is. You've never had a boyfriend, have you? Aw, that's kind of sad. I kind of feel bad for you now. It's okay to say you're jealous. You're not? Are you sure? Not even just like a little bit? All right, well, if you say so, but... I know it's really hard to find that perfect somebody, but me and Chad were literally like meant for each other. You know what I mean? Oh, right. I can't talk about him in front of you because you get jealous. I'll stop. I'll stop. You just can't be happy for us. Hey, girly. Oh, you have a smoothie too? Let me try it. Oh my gosh, it is so good. What? Why do you not want to drink up of it now? I don't have Corona. Do you? Because that'd be really inconvenient since I just drank off of your drink. I'm fine. I'll put my mask up. I'll put it up. Jeez. Jeez. My nose too? What do you mean? Oh. It's fine. Okay, so. <coughs> what? Well, I don't want to cough inside of my mask. That'd be really gross. But that doesn't make sense. Like, if I cough, it's fine because I don't have it. So it's fine. No, that that is how it works. I'm pretty sure. My mom's a nurse, actually. Yeah, she is. She got fired, but, like, she was. Hey, guys. Notice anything hmm, hmm, different about me? No, it's not my hair. It's my nails. Yeah, my mom let me get acrylics over the weekend. She let me go to the salon with her and everything. Yeah, I got to pick out the sparkles and everything. Aren't they so pretty? What? Your mom won't let you get acrylics? That's sad. I guess my mom's just cooler than yours. No, they're not press-ons. No, they're not. They're acrylics. Yeah, acrylics. I had to actually go to the salon and get them done. So they're acrylics. What? What do you mean, Jessica? You seen these nails at Claire's. Uh, no, you didn't. I got these done. Oh my gosh, you guys, help me find my nail. They're not fake. They're not. Ladies, can you please tell me why you are not in your classroom at the moment? Oh, you're going to the bathroom. Yeah, the bell rang five minutes ago and you had two minutes before that bell rang to use the restroom. I do not understand why we are late. What classroom are you supposed to be in, ladies? Miss mm, Johnson. Well, that's convenient that she has a sub today. How disrespectful. Do you have a note? You do not. Exactly. Go back to your classrooms before I write you up. Wait a minute, Kelsey. Come back here. Do you think that shirt is a 
appropriate for school showing your shoulders and some cleavage? No, it is not. So you can come back with me to my office. Yes. And mask goes above your nose, ma'am. No, mine is right here and I have a medical condition. So let's go. Can someone tell me why it was not a snow day today? I swear, this school is literally crazy. It's freezing outside, and last night I saw one, one snowflake, so I knew there wasn't going to be school, so I stayed up watching my shows all night long. And guess what? There was school. Are you kidding me? One snowflake, there should not be school. And it's freezing outside, so Miss Johnson, I'm not taking my coat off, okay? And I had no time to do my hair or anything because I'm so tired because I stayed up because I thought there was going to be a snow day. Literally ridiculous. I am so done with this school. Yeah, wasn't that one school closed? So why can't we be? That is so unfair. Literally so unfair. This school needs to get its priorities straight, I'm what telling you. What did you just say? You want to go see your friends in a global pandemic? Oh, no. You want to go outside in the pool? Okay. Wear five masks. What? No, you can wear a mask while swimming. It's not going to kill you. And gloves. I don't care. We're outside. It's a global pandemic. And, sir, neighbor, why do you not have a mask on? I don't care. We're outside. You need to wear one, okay? Okay, honey, we just got back from the store, so I got your hand sanitizer bath ready. Yep, the bathtub is filled with hand sanitizer. It might burn in a couple places, but you'll be fine. We're going to be safe. Here, and wipe your phone off. Wipe everything. Everything. I'm serious. Hey, boys. Hey, Lucas. Hey, JK. Hey, Chad. Do you notice anything different about me? You don't? Um, didn't you say your favorite color was like this brown tan shade? I heard you talking and I think that's your favorite color. Am I right? I'm right, aren't I? So do you, do you like my new shirt? Do you? Also, I heard you like girls with straight hair, so I straightened my hair just for you. Do you like how it looks? Does it look all nice and shiny? It smells really good if you like want to smell it. Um, you're doing the math homework? Oh my gosh, you're just like so smart. Can I just like get your Snapchat? No, for like studying. No, literally just studying you guys. Oh my gosh. It's because I'm, I'm just so dumb. Oh my gosh, Chad. Your hands are like so big. Wait, compare, compare. Oh my gosh. I'm so little. I'm so small. Oh so yes. Wait, do I really need to tell you that this is McDonald's? You don't know where you're eating at. I mean, come on, grow a brain. Like, why would you be ordering at somewhere where you don't know? I mean, there's a big sign in the front. Like, do I really need to tell you that it's McDonald's? Hello, this is McDonald's. Do I need to tell you that? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Um, 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 what? Come on, spit it out. It's not that complicated. You should have got it figured out before you came up here, all right? I mean, it's McDonald's. We've had the same things for a million years. What's what's so complicated about that? You want a milkshake? No, the, I, it's broken. It's broken. What? Did you not read the big sign? It's McDonald's. It's always broken. Did I look? No, I didn't look, but I already know. You should have known that too. Come on. Why are we wasting time here? What else do you want? So you want a four-piece chicken nugget. That's it? Really? You wasted my time for that. All right. I have to tell you to pull up to the next window. It's not rocket science, lady. Pull up. Come on. Um, excuse me? Why is your stuff on my desk? My personal bubble. Do you not understand that there's a crack here that divides your desk from mine? So why is your stuff on my edge of my desk? You needed some more space. Well, guess what? We all have the same amount of space. So it doesn't mean you have to put your edge of your book on my desk. Do you understand? Keep it away. problem buddy i asked you once very nicely to keep your stuff on your side of the desk do you want to play that game do you want to play that game how do you like that huh miss smith oh my gosh jessica what are you doing this weekend <gasps> nothing oh my gosh we're definitely having a sleepover yes what lisa you're not doing anything either well i actually didn't ask you but don't you have to take care of that little sister of yours or something? Yeah, she's quite annoying, by the way. Anyways, um, like I was saying, you want to come to the sleepover? <laughs> well, actually, um, my mom only 
lets me have one person spend the night at a time, so it's obviously gonna be Jessica, because I just asked her, but sorry, maybe next time. So anyways, oh, Sarah, you wanna come to the sleepover too? Yeah, you can, it'll be so much fun. Oh, well, Sarah actually lives right next to my house, and my mom's really good friends with her mom, so she can actually come, but you can't. What's burning, what's burning? Oh my gosh, I knew it, I knew something was burning, oh my gosh. Why do you have a candle lit in this room right now? Huh? Are you trying to burn my house down? No, you're not allowed to have candles. This is such a bad hazard, okay? You can spray some perfume or something, but candles? No, no. What if you fall asleep and then the house, kaboom! You might accidentally fall asleep. You could, it's a possibility. What if you passed out? Yep, that could happen. And then my house is on fire, okay? No, no, no. <gasps> No candles. God. How do you even know how to use a lighter, huh? Are you a smoker? Yeah, I'm going to have to talk to your father about this. There's something going on. There, yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. Mm -hmm. And then I jumped up and it was just so... What? What are we talking about? Well, like, you kind of, like, wouldn't understand because it's an inside joke. Like, you had to be there at the movies with us. Oh. I, w I wasn't supposed to tell her that, was I? I mean, yeah, we went to the movies together, but, like, we didn't ask you to come because it was a scary movie. And we know you don't like scary movies, so that that's why we didn't invite you. It wasn't, like, because of, like, anything else, you know? Like, we just thought you wouldn't want to come, so we just didn't invite you. You're not upset at all, right? Okay, good, good. I knew you would understand. Yeah, you had the big popcorn. It was so good. And then we went shopping afterwards, and, like, you got the cutest shirts. Like, you should see... Oh, why didn't we ask you to go to the mall then? Um, we weren't planning on going to the mall. It was just like afterwards, we had some time. So it was just like a spur of the moment thing. You know what I mean? Okay, so today we are baking. Do I know how to use an oven? No. Do I know how to bake? No. But we're going to learn. But look at my butt. Or do I mean? <laughs> Fourth, the what? Ooh, ooh. Does that mean they're burning? I don't know, but uh, they look in plump. I like it. It comes. Is that supposed to happen? Huh? You need help with your homework? Okay, let me take a look at it. Alright. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the exponent on top of. Huh? That's not how you learned it in class. That's not how your teacher says to do it. Well, tell her she's an idiot because this is the right way to do it, okay? This is how I learned, so this is how you're going to learn. No, that is how you do it. I don't care what your teacher says. This is how you're going to learn, okay? You put the number on top of the number. Honey, are you listening to this? What are these teachers teaching these kids? I mean, why, why do we even send them to school? Okay, so once you subtract that no. How do you not know how to subtract five from two? What is wrong with you? I can't. I can't. You're, you're getting on my nerves. You're getting on my nerves. You know what? Forget it. Forget it. Stop crying. 